Welcome to Devils in the Details. I am your host, Annie DeGraw. ASU's Luna map is bound for the moon on a quest to find water without ever landing on the surface. How? We'll let the ASU team explain more about this exciting NASA mission that's set to launch from Florida later this year. The spacecraft itself is only about 30 pounds and it's about the size of a Costco cereal box. I'm Joe Dubois, I'm the lead mechanical engineer on LunaMap. It's a spacecraft going to the moon in search of water. The other day we were, we were lifting the spacecraft, you know, we just pick it up and put it in the, the thermal chamber and, and take it out. We wheel it on a cart across the room. My name's Craig Hardgrove, I'm an assistant professor in the School of Earth and Space Exploration and I'm the principal investigator of the Luna Map mission. So you might be wondering how do we search for water without landing on the moon? It's quite fascinating. We have to look for neutrons and, and neutrons aren't coming from the water itself but they're getting knocked off by cosmic rays and that's some pretty deep science but more or less what we know is that when we fly over with the presence of these neutrons we can safely say that there's hydrogen which means there's water. We know we need water either as fuel or to support people uh, because you know, it, it's expensive to launch stuff off of the earth. Uh, so if there are resources on the moon that we could harness uh, either to go to Mars or to support some base on the moon then it would be valuable to know how much there is and exactly where it is. Luna Map was delivered to the Kennedy Space Center in July 2021. In a few short weeks, the spacecraft will take off aboard NASA's new rocket, Artemis One. This is the first mission to be led, designed, assembled, integrated, tested, and delivered from ASU's Tempe campus. That's all for today's Devils in the Details. Until next time, take care.